This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. The new fall TV shows were announced just in time for broadcast TV to be irrelevant. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got More Free Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. I always like this time of year. Yeah. <laughs> With the new fall TV schedule coming out. Right, and yeah, the upfronts have just occurred. Mm-hmm. And again, the upfronts are where the networks trumpet all their new series to the advertisers in order to get them to sign up upfront to spend money on ads. It's always so hopeful. Yes. <laughs> you Usually, think, oh, this is going to be a good show. <laughs> <laughs> it normally ends in disaster. <laughs> so... The fall TV schedule for 2016, the headlines. Dick Wolf, Shonda Rhimes, and Greg Berlanti now essentially own three networks. Yes. <laughs> if any one of them were to drop dead, NBC, ABC, and CW would be awful, awful, awful. Yeah. And speaking of the CW, they will now have four nights of superheroes at 8 p.m. I like that, too. <laughs> that made you very happy. Absolutely. Lots of movie remakes. Because that always works. That always works. Remaking movies as TV shows. If you can do it once, <laughs> it will work every, every time. single time. And somebody at the networks is apparently watching Doctor Who. Yes, I would say that's the case. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go by day? We are. Okay. Starting on Sunday with Son of Zorn on Fox. Is this part of the um, that animated block, technically? Yeah. Mm-hmm, technically. Because okay. it's live action, but it's also animated. Because it involves a He-Man-like character. Who's an animated animated, character. Who deals with his live-action ex-wife and family. Mm -hmm. Jason Sudeikis and Cheryl Hines star. It's sort of like the ones where they put puppets in as real people, but in this case it's an animated person. Yeah. (laughs) I think it looks like it could be interesting. Yeah, and it's going to be in the animation block, so it'll kind of get propped up by Simpsons or... Family, Family Guy, guy or that, Bob's Burgers. Right. Yeah. Or Last Man on Earth. Yeah. Making History, also on Fox. A comedy about a professor who uses time travel to improve his current life. Adam Pally of Happy Ending stars. Mm-hmm. Time After Time at ABC. One of the many, many time travel shows <laughs> coming up. This one is, of course, based on the 1979 H.G. Wells' Jack the Ripper movie. I would, If I was going to see an H.G. Wells series, I would much rather have seen the one based off of um, H.G. Wells from the Warehouse, Warehouse 13. 13. Yeah, Warehouse 13. Yeah. All right. So Monday, Kevin Can Wait, CBS. I think we could wait, because Kevin James gets another sitcom. And it's about a retired police officer who deals with his family, including the prerequisite hot wife. Yeah. (laughs) Man with a plan. CBS. Matt LeBlanc is now back on network TV about a contractor handling three kids. This will come in after the fall. Are they his three kids? Um, or are they somebody else's three kids? Yeah, I think it's somebody else's three kids. Okay. <laughs> you, it's got a kind of a whole family affairish type thing going on here. Twenty Four Legacy on Fox, a spinoff of the classic Fox series. There are twelve real time episodes, so this really should be called Twelve. But it doesn't have um, Kiefer Sutherland. It does, does not. not. No. no. And that's going to come in the winter. APB Fox, a procedural about a tech billionaire who buys a troubled police district. And why does he do that? Because he does. I've got these great new ideas so that will fix things. So it's sort of things. like a charter school for a police station. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> also, that's a winter show. Mm-hmm. Conviction, ABC, a Haley Atwell procedural about wrongful convictions. And they canceled Agent Carter for this? Well, I imagine Haley can get a lot more money for this. Oh, I'm sure she can. Um, if it takes off, you know, I mean, if it could be a Law & Order or something like right. that, I mean, it could be a good deal for her. Right. I certainly would rather see Agent Carter. Or, and I don't think they could do it, but 
you know, 13 good episodes of Conviction and 13 good episodes of Agent Carter. That would be great. Timeless NBC time travel series <laughs> number three about a bad guy going to the past to destroy American history so a team goes back to stop him. Mm -hmm. Goran Vizhnik stars. Now, he was also in Agent Carter, wasn't he? Uh, I think. Or is... I thought I thought he was the guy off uh, ER and then the... Uh, oh, okay. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong yeah. kind of guy. Eastern European guy. Eastern European guy. I'm sorry, <laughs> Goran. Sorry. Taken, NBC, a prequel based on the films <laughs> in the spring... That'll show oh. up and hopefully <laughs> die miserably very quickly. And, you know, and sometimes these spring ones and even the winter ones don't actually ever show up. Right. That's a very good point. That a lot yeah. of these things, there are some shows coming on in the fall this season that were supposed to be mid-season replacements and yeah. never happened. Yeah. Tuesday night, American Housewife on ABC, a sitcom about keeping up with the Joneses in a ritzy suburb. Katie Mixon and Dietrich Bader. I'm trying to think who Katie Mixon is. Uh, I couldn't remember off the top of my head, no. Okay. Nah. The Mick Fox. A woman becomes guardian of very wealthy kids. Caitlin Olson, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, stars. That'll be in winter. Hmm, okay. Bull, CBS, based on Dr. Phil. But not like Dr. Phil now. It's Dr. Phil then. Early Dr. Phil, when he was working as a jury consultant. Right. So. Michael Weatherly of NCIS stars in this, and that's why he left NCIS. Well, it may not be why he left NCIS. <laughs> I hope it's not why he left. Uh, I hope yeah. he left NCIS because he, he just didn't want to do NCIS yeah. anymore. Because I don't think this is going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Michael. No Tomorrow, CW, a romantic fantasy based on a Brazilian series about a couple who thinks it, think it's the end of the world, so they're going through their bucket list. Kicking and Screaming on Fox, a camping survival reality show. Hannah Simone of New Girl hosts, and that's a winter show. Hannah Simone is... Is Cece. Cece, okay. Um, I, you know, we don't do much in the way of reality shows. No. Pitch Fox, a drama about the first female major league pitcher. Mm -hmm. Kylie Bunbury of Twisted and Mark Paul Gossiar, Gossiar stars. <laughs> Gosselar? <laughs> that guy. That guy. That's a spring show. And of course it should be spring because that's baseball season. And actually, this has gotten very good early reviews. Well, that's good. This Is Us, Fox. A drama about people born on the same day. Now. Gimmick. This was, this was like one of the most watched trailers yeah. or something like that. And to me, watching that trailer... The show did not make any sense. I don't see how those people hook up. I don't see how you can tell a story. <laughs> but of course, they did it sort of with Modern Family, I guess. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. but they're they're all related. Right. I don't know. Wednesday night, Speechless, ABC, a family sitcom with a special needs son, Minnie Driver, John Ross Bowie, star on that. That seems sort of typical fare. Yeah. You know. Lethal Weapon, Fox, based on the movie series... And apparently now Damon Wayans is too old for this. Shots fired on Fox. A drama about a racially charged shooting in North Carolina. So, the, do you think that's going to be like um, American, crime, American story. crime Story? Yeah. Yeah, it's more like a yeah. you know ongoing mini-series than what you think of as a TV series. I would say. Frequency on the CW, based on the 2000 movie, which I didn't think did that well in order to actually make I, it a TV series. Well, if, it, if it really was that well received and like people wanted to see it as more, it wouldn't have been 16. 17 years yeah. later yeah. that they made the TV show. Yeah. Now, maybe it's become a cult classic movie that or could something. Be. But. That could be. Uh, Peyton List of the Tomorrow People stars on that. And speaking of star... Star on Fox, a musical drama, which appears to be Empire 2, mm -hmm. with Queen Latifah and Benjamin Bratt. That'll come in in the winter. Mm -hmm. Designated Survivor, ABC. So the Is this supposed to be a comedy? No. Okay. No, no. All right. I was just curious. Because it seems it like seems, it. It seems like it would be a, a really, really great premise for a comedy. Yeah. The HUD secretary becomes president when the rest of the line of succession is killed. 
So there's like uh, a big address, probably the the uh, State of the State Union, of the Union address, mm -hmm. and there's an attack on the Capitol. He's the one who's been set aside in case something happens. Well, something happened. Kiefer Sutherland, Maggie Q, and Cal Penn on that one. Thursday, The Great Indoors, about a journeyman reporter who ends up as boss to millennials running social media. Joel McHale and Stephen Fry. That'll be after the fall. I, I think I would like to at least try that one because I do like Joel McHale and Stephen Fry. Except this seems like a bad fit for CBS. This much more looks like maybe an NBC show. Yeah. But NBC or, is or good a for comedy. Netflix or Hulu show. Yeah, frankly. <laughs> The Good Place, NBC, about a wild woman who finds herself mistakenly in heaven. Uh, basically, it's Defending Your Life, the TV show. Yeah. Kirsten Bell and Ted Danson. I sort of think I want to watch that one, too. Yeah. I I do love Kristen Bell. Mm. Kirsten Bell. Kirsten Bell. Pure Genius, CBS, a medical drama at a cutting-edge hospital. After the fall. I <sighs> I don't think that, you know, no. We still got Grey's Anatomy going on now. I yeah, don't well, think they need a new medical Why show. do you need that? Yeah. Oh, but isn't there, I don't know, maybe we'll get to it later. I thought there was another one. Or maybe it already failed. It another probably already did. Show, so. Friday night, MacGyver on CBS. Yay! MacGyver! We have a movie prequel with our hero now in his 20s, Lucas Till of X-Men stars. Okay. And finally, The Exorcist on Fox, based on the 1973 movie, Gina Davis stars on that. Is she going to be The Exorcist? I don't know. I thought know. you'd have to have a priest as The Exorcist. You would think. And then, of course, Saturday night, the networks gave up. They, they have nothing on. <laughs> nothing, just reruns. Oh, geez, Mark, there is so much TV for the fall. Absolutely. I think we have to stop now and come back. Right. So, in the meantime, you can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife Treat Comics, on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching.